the issue is not harming the individual. It's actually freeing the individual from that thing that binds, in this case, it's an evil spirit. It would seem natural that former inhabitants would still be lurking about. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Oh! It was full of Some people see exorcisms as a spiritual aid. Exorcisms of the devil appear just as sincere. It is said to be the most haunted hotel, and there's reportedly several ghosts. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. To describe this story as horrifying would be an understatement. We legit just heard someone crawling up the wall. At what point do you not just leave? One thing I want to ask you guys. What does this town remind you guys of? Silent Hill, bro. No! No! <laughs> Wait, somewhere that we've already been. Oh, Marky, oh. I was gonna say cutthroat. Okay. This whole thing we have to ourselves, bro. And I have the master key. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode, Ghost Gang. We are here in the middle of bum nowhere because of Wyatt. Sorry. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> we are here at Hotel Leger, and this place is known to be one of the most haunted here in California. Mm. So, with that being said, I got a little tune for you boys before we do jump into this episode. <laughs> if you want to get scared and you're a man, just wear pink. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Damn. <laughs> Poppy. Darkness. The partial or total absence of light, weakness, or evil. Tonight we are investigating at the Hotel Leger. Sashay away, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's that from? <laughs> RuPaul Drag Race. <laughs> Y'all ancients. Been down so long. But my mind can't get no rest. Far beyond what we've ever heard of here before. Oh, no. I've been down so long. But my mind can't get no rest. No, no. This ain't easy, darling. Paranormal investigators on the case, and even they couldn't believe what they found. This story, as horrifying, would be an understatement. And if that sounds like a warning, then that's exactly what it's meant to be. This place is known to be one of the most haunted hotels in California. Built in 1851, this building changed names many, many times and burned down three different times. In 1875, a man that went by the name of George Leger had come to town and decided to rebuild this hotel. But this time he wanted to connect the hotel to the old courthouse and jail that had fallen victim to the fire. Back in that time, the town that this hotel is in was actually one of the most dangerous towns in the West. It's well documented that 17 weeks in a row, one man per week was killed in this town, and things were so bad they actually made a vigilante group to solve the problem for themselves. There's even a plaque that sits in front of Hotel Leger that speaks about a man who had just gotten shot right in front of the hotel. During all that, this hotel operated as the courthouse, post office, gambling establishment, and the local saloon. It was kind of like a mini Disneyland for criminals. Mini as f <laughs> but there's still a whole lot of energy that lingers on this property to this day. And this is where the hauntings come in. Starting with room number one, it is said that this room is one of the most haunted on the second floor, with one experience even being recorded of a group of friends using a Ouija board to communicate with something evil that still lives in that room. Oh, baby, don't cry. Don't cry. What? You missing everything? Oh Hey, exorcisms of the devil appear just as sincere. It's a cool hotel, but it's definitely high on the creep factor. Now their encounter was pretty terrifying, and they're not the only guests that have stayed in that room to have something like that happen to them. Even the staff admit that there's something evil that does stay up there. Story says that this demon had become a staple to this hotel now since that day. People will even wake up in the middle of the night to see the rocking chair rocking back and forth. And that must mean that the demon is just watching them and waiting. waiting. On to room number two. Now this one is a bit different because when people go to sleep in that room, they will feel from time to time something grab onto their legs and lift them at least a foot or two up in the air, which is pretty odd. With that being said, there's also another spirit that likes to move from room to room. It's supposedly the spirit of a little boy, although no one knows who he is or why he's there. He just likes to run around playing pranks. Supposedly he can actually move things. And the most common thing that people do here is him running around or laughing. 
laughing. Rumors say that this little kid is actually George Leger's son, but who knows the actual truth? And speaking of George Leger, apparently he used to be a total man. His main living quarters was room number seven. There are two different stories of how he actually died, but he did die in this hotel. Story number one goes that he just kind of died of old age, but story number two is what people believe the most. Apparently, George was caught with another man's wife, and that man busted down his bedroom door like a college football player and shot him in the bed and killed him. Point blank. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> With that being said, these could all just be stories. So our goal tonight is to try and find out if they're true. I think it's time to hit the road. Yeah, just go. We are calling upon every spirit here in this hotel. Now we are the only ones here tonight besides all of you. Before we do get started and before we explain to you why we are here and what we're hoping for tonight, we would like to introduce ourselves. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. My name is River. Now the reason why we're here is because, to our knowledge, you haven't spoken to somebody in a long time. And we're here with these special devices, these special objects, that will allow you to communicate with us. Whether it's just showing us that you're here, or we have a device that will also give you the ability to use your words. Hello? That's, dude. That's the game. Already the chills. Where's that coming from? The hallway. Can somebody come in here and speak with us, please? I've got this object here. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. If you come up to this object after I set it down and turn it on, if you come to this metal rod here, if you get near it, it'll start to buzz and light up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set it over here in this corner. And if somebody can see me, we would like you to come and make this device buzz and light up like that. Now take your time. We're gonna be here for quite a while. We're just trying to have a conversation and we're trying to prove that you are still here in this hotel. Since it is just us, don't be afraid to come out we just want to have a conversation with you. Yeah, I heard it. Okay guys, so I like to do this from time to time. Sometimes I don't explain to the spirits or anybody. Obviously they could probably hear me. I like to set up a couple of devices, almost like booby traps, just in case if somebody is walking down the hallway, this will start to go off and then right away, we'll know that somebody's there. Hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this in the hallway real quick and then we'll continue. Guys. Does look the at that. Look I was at just going to say, the REM pod. does the REM pod always do that? No, guys? it's never done that. What is it doing? Is it quiet? Oh, 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 dude, we just watched that happen. <laughs> dude, look at my arms. Me too. Me too. Thank you so much. Hi, is this George? Can you hold on to that tire if it is George? Oh! No way. No way. George, are you the one who we keep hearing? Because we know that you have a cane. Dude. So it's pretty distinct on when we walk yeah. because it makes pretty loud creaks. Yeah, point at my feet. Yeah. This is it. Yeah, that's us. It's an honor to meet you, George, if this is George. Now we understand that there are other spirits, other people here and all of you are welcome. We also know that there is somebody evil and people are wondering who that is. Dude, somebody's gotta be here, bro. Oh! They said no, don't go. Do you not want us to leave? All of these objects, these devices that we have, nothing's gonna harm you whatsoever. They're specially designed so that you can show us that you're here for you to communicate with us whatever you'd like. That was definitely in the hallway. Don't get freaked out. Me too. Any spirits that are down in this hallway, 
Feel free. Come talk to us. Can you hold on to it harder, please? Oh, no way! Oh my god! Oh. Whoa. If that you can see what me and Wyatt look like right Holy now, shit. dude. I think whatever you said at the start is working. You think so? I think so. How about this other object here? It's a cat ball, but it's apparently sensitive enough for anybody who can hear me to make it light up. Like this. I'm gonna go ahead and set it here. Hold on. Are we sure no one's here? Probably. I don't know, dude. This is just, it's too weird, it right? Now, if you walk up to this object here on the bed, if you decide to lay on the bed, I'm talking to any of the women who are still here. So if you can, please just tap this. We just want to know if you are here. So far, we think that you're here. We hear you. I wonder where. We're on the main top floor where all the rooms are. If it were a person, person, we'd be yeah. able to hear them coming around the corner. We'd hear them coming in the front door. Yeah, hmm. sounds like down to me. Can somebody give us a sign, maybe where you are, so that we can find you and, and hopefully speak to you? If you give us that sign, I have a device, an object that you can use your words. Whether it's just one word or a whole sentence, but you have to give us a sign, please. Whoa! That doesn't just go off like that. No. That was really weird. Okay. I mean, that had to have been a yeah. Yeah. Okay, this object here, this device in my hand, what you can do is use your words. I'm gonna go ahead and set it down over there and you can say whatever you'd like. You can let us know your name, you can let us know who's here, or you can warn us about something if that's what you want. So what I like to do is I like to show you guys that we put it on airplane mode, because airplane mode makes it to where there is no interference. And then I'll just go ahead and start, set it down. Bro, is that in the hallway? Did you just hear that? Send heel toe, heel toe. I'm gonna go ahead and set this here. Use your energy, please. What is it that you would like to tell us? Your name. Uh huh. Can you say one of our names if you know it, please? We already introduced ourselves. Maybe you can get the names from somebody else who's here as well. They might know it. Hmm. He screams. He screams. Who screams? Me. I think they're talking about me. Maybe. Are you talking about me? I asked, is there something you'd like to tell us? Said your name? I don't want to talk. Oh! Right off the bat, dude. Is there any way we could change your mind? We, we mean no disrespect in any way. We're just excited because somebody's here. They're communicating with us. Thank you. Maybe you could give us some information. If you're George, we want to know if this is George. That was a knock. Yeah, that was in the room next to us. Is there somebody who can maybe walk to this bed here and make one of those balls light up on the bed, please? I feel weird. Yeah, I do too. I'm from the 1800s. That's accurate. That is accurate. No. Can you give us your name, maybe? That would help us so that we can actually have a good conversation with you. It's been a long time, huh? Whoa. What the f is that? It sounds like the rocking chair. Wait. You okay? What happened? I just got a gnarly f ass pain under my ribs. Guys, remember there is something evil here. Did someone just touch Wyatt? I make noises. I make noises? <laughs> we hear you. Who touched Wyatt? What are you feeling, like internal? Ow, dude, it's like someone's got their 
finger up inside my shit. Is there someone evil here that's doing this to him? It is really weird, dude. Like, uncomfortable. Oh! That was a full touch. Can somebody please help us understand what's going on to Wyatt here? We just want to know. Please, if somebody can help him, that'd be great. I'm a little confused on why all of a sudden just negative right away. Can you move location? Oh, dude. Whoa. They want us to move out of this room. Yeah, we can go. That's totally fine. We have no problem with that. Are we bothering you? We've never gotten that before. Yeah, Can what? you move location? Can you get out of here? Are you maybe trying to sleep? Can you let us know? Are you maybe trying to sleep? Can you let us know? Maybe we need to get out of here. I think something's like trying to do something weird to you, bro. Mm -hmm. Because we're in here. Oh, what the f No, no, did no, no. Touch no. I did not touch it, I swear on everything. I just watched that move. I watched it move. Just now. I don't, dude. I watched it start rocking. You were not, I, River was standing here. He was standing right here. Dude, I'm shaking now. I just saw something, I don't know. Why did you stop though? Ask. Ask. It just said ask. They asked us to get out of here. They asked us to leave. That's true. Maybe we should get out of here. We've never like left a, a room like that fast. Dude, can that happen just from movement? See if it just stops. That thing just dead stopped. It's scary here. It's scary here. Yeah. No, it kept rocking until it stopped, but you watched, I saw it stop all the, all of a sudden, like somebody was like this. Yeah, like someone just got out of it, right? That was f***ing weird, dude. That's just unbelievable, man. There's somebody right here. We'd be happy to leave. I'm in the shadows. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> We have for sure never gotten anything like that. This is whatever it is. This is evil. You still feeling weird? It's f***ing... You just know keeps coming and going? It feels like you ever eaten something like so hot that it like makes you want to throw up? Yeah. It, start, it was like a sharp pain, like someone had their fingers up under my ribs, and now my whole like left side stomach area is just... It's like I ate a ghost pepper. It's just hot. Is this the evil one here? The one that people have gotten scratched? Is this who everybody has been talking about? Just scratched. I f***ing heard that. Death. Death. Whoa, wait. It can't be good. I live in the shadows? Death. Okay. I hate to say this, but I think we should move on to the next room. If they're wanting us out of this room, maybe we should just go to room two. But let's go to room two. Okay, well, they wanted us right away. That's the first time that we have ever gotten where a spirit wanted us out of the room right away. So I know we stayed there for a little bit. We're just trying to see if maybe it could be somebody else in that room. But how are you feeling now, Wyatt? I, I'm like a little short of breath. I'm curious to find out who, what, whatever this thing is. Mm. I don't know. Already off the bat, it's just so odd, bro. Okay, I don't know if anybody saw us in that other room. I don't know if you heard us, but we decided to switch over here to room two. So far, we are told to move out of room one. If there's somebody in here, or somebody who can hear us, who would like to come into this room, please come and speak with us. We're just trying to have a conversation. I just feel weird. I'm gonna go ahead and try this. The music box. I have this object here that if you walk in front of it, move any part of your body in front of it, it'll start to play music. I'm gonna go ahead and set it down this hallway 
And if you want to walk over. What? I saw somebody. <gasps> oh, shit. Wow. Look at my arms. <gasps> Were you positive? I saw somebody right here. Wow. Did you just hear that? Somebody's right here. Someone just walked away. On everything, like, I, I legit just heard someone walk away. That was valid. I just saw somebody. Um, I'm gonna try to explain what I just saw so that you guys understand. Come here. Stand where I'm at. This is a weird one, too. Because I watched them appear, and then I also watched them disappear right in front of my eyes. This, right here. And I could see through their body. No way. I didn't see a face, I didn't see a head, I saw a whole torso, I saw I saw everything besides the face. That was valid, bro, that, that was real. What did I just see? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm speechless right now. I'm gonna go ahead and set this device down that, that way. I might set it this way now. It's gonna calibrate real quick. What I'd like you to do is walk down this hallway and it'll start to make music like that. That'll just let us know that you are there. I want to know if I did actually see somebody. There's no way my eyes were playing tricks, dude. That happened. You guys watched me jump back. Mm -hmm. At any point in time, please give us a sign that you're coming. I'm shaking. Whatever th I just saw, that was, I'm gonna say it one more time, that was so real, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and set this ball. It's a sensitive ball. I'm explaining it one more time. I'm gonna set it here on the bed. And if you'd like to, just come sit down, please. Any slight tap of that ball, it'll start to light up, and that'll give us that sign that you are here, and you do understand what we're saying. I'm sorry guys, if I'm, I, if I'm not being like super active right now. I'm like questioning myself right now, but dude, that was real, man. That had to have been real. That's just crazy. I think what you do, bring out Spirit Talker. Yeah, SLS. SLS. Okay, I'm gonna jump back into it. If I did just see somebody, we've got a couple more objects here that I'm just gonna keep putting around and explaining what they are. This one has been buzzing in the other room. You might have already heard it. All you have to do is come up to it and hold on to this metal rod here, just like that. At any point in time, any of these objects that I'm setting down and explaining, we just wanna see if you're here. We wanna have a conversation. That's why we keep asking if you could show us that you're here. Now it's been a long time, but we brought up the SLS and now would be the perfect time to see if I actually did see somebody. What the SLS does is it maps out what we can't see. So it'll map out a stick figure. And usually what we like to do is ask questions when it does map out a stick figure because sometimes this thing is iffy and that's why we haven't really used it much. So what I'm gonna do is if we do map somebody out, I'm gonna ask them to wave to us, kind of give us a sign in some way that we are mapping them. Like so, no way. No way. Oh my God, you just caught that. I literally just set down the SLS just so I can turn it on and set it up. I asked at some point, thank you so much. I just saw that. That was amazing. Is there any way you can show us with something else that you're here? Maybe go up to that device right there in front of the mirror. Take your time. If you need energy, we have all these objects, these devices. Holy oh, shit. I think they're here. They're definitely in here. This object right in my hands, this should detect somebody. What I'd like you to do, please, can you come sit here on this couch, right in front of us, so I can see you? Keppel. Keppel? <gasps> can you stand in front of the bed here? Use your energy. If you need any energy, we've got these objects in our hands. River has one in his hand. Wyatt has one in his hand as well. You can use the energy out of those. I just want to see if you can sit down for us. 
I've also got this other object, this other device. I'm gonna go ahead and set it here. It's just like the one in the hallway. It's gonna calibrate. This is our jack in the box. What I'd like you to do is just walk in front like this. Use your energy. We're just gonna kind of sit here. We're looking for you. Oh. Can you please walk in front of that box right there? If you walk in front of that box, I can pull out the object, the device that you can use your words. Oh! oh! <laughs> Wyatt. When you were over there, the, the ball kept going off. I wonder if they're wanting to be around you. Something. Let me try it. Maybe. Why it's going to go right back over there at the end of the bed. We're just kind of testing something. Hold on to it. Why it's sitting right there. Can you please walk up to him? We're looking for anybody to walk up to him. Dude, no way. No f***ing way there's somebody right next to you. On this side? There's somebody right next to you right now. On your right side. They just disappeared. It was tracking both of you guys. Can you go up to that wall again right next to Wyatt? If you're standing right there, please give us a sign. What was that? Did you just hear that? Oh, they're right at the bed. Can you hold on to that object right there in Wyatt's hand, please? Do you see this? Literally laying right on the bed. Oh! Did that spike? They, I saw them reach up to it. Whoa, the music box just went off. <gasps> the box right there on the dresser. Please walk in front of it. It's right there, right there. Yeah, I heard it. Would anybody like to speak with us right now? Is there somebody who would like to use their words? Oh my god. Dude, I'm like, I feel like I just shouldn't move. I'm gonna pull out the object here that you can use your words. Maybe that'll help. Come speak to us, please. Use your energy. Let us know what you would like to say. Oh. Oh, shit! shit. I was not prepared for that. I think they wanted it the whole time. F I hate that thing. Thank you so much. If you want to say something, please come and speak into this object here. This device that's here on the table right in front of us. Is that what you wanted this whole time? You wanted to use your words. That's not horrifying at all. Mm -hmm. Sounds like someone's pacing. What is it that you want? Stuck here. Stuck, Stuck here. here. Would you like us to try and get you out? What the hell is that? I don't know. Sounds like somebody's riding a little tricycle. Or someone's jumping on the bed. Oh. Are they squeaky though? I don't know. I didn't sit on the bed. Is there somebody here with us right now? Oh shit. And then they go, er, er. Yeah. But just like two seconds ago, I swear I heard, er. Should we look? Yes, it's me. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> no way. <laughs> they have not touched this at all. Mm. Not since the one time. Oh! As you say that? What is going on? You want us to look for somebody? We just heard what sounded like a doorknob being turned. Someone's moving around. Somebody's walking right there. Who did I see? Is that the one who keeps walking around? This thing is just... <gasps> what? Dude! What? I just got somebody sitting in the chair. I moved it. Afraid. Afraid. 
Don't be afraid, it's okay. None of these objects, these devices are gonna hurt you whatsoever. Nothing's gonna hurt you. We're not gonna hurt you. We're not here to get rid of you. Go ahead, all the way please. Oh shit. Concerned. Concerned. We understand. A couple of random people came here to speak with you. We have these devices that you just don't feel comfortable with. We understand. We get it. I know you're concerned. I know you're afraid. But if you can try and get past that and try to trust us, that's what we're trying to do is gain a little bit of trust. We hear you. We hear somebody walking up and down the hallways. If that's the case, maybe you could give us a... Maybe you could give us a sign exactly where you are and where you want us to go. Oh, Wyatt. Somebody was just right in front of you. Can you walk to the right of Wyatt, please? <gasps> do you see them? I do. They're right near the box. You got this. Just stand right in front of that, please. There you go. Did you just hear that crash? Someone just crashed out there. I swear on everything, something just crashed out there. That sounded like something heavy crashing. If you make that pop out right now, we can try and find you. There you go. Why can't we see you? Is there a reason why we can't see you? This object here in my hand should be picking you up. Is this not one of the kids? Is this somebody else? 11. We just asked if it was a little kid. This is weird, dude. Like, somebody clearly did not want us in room number one at all. Mm -hmm. We come in here. It's like someone's shy or scared of us. We hear nothing but footsteps out in the hallways. That just said little. Our box is malfunctioning right now. It's toast. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Should we take a quick breather? All right, let's pause. Okay, so things started ramping up like crazy in room one. We would gotten told to leave. So we decided to respect that. We went to room two, started getting things here and there. Our jack in the box went off. Mm -hmm. The SLS did map somebody next to you. And before I brought the SLS out to try and track anybody there, the cat ball had set off about two or three times after we brought the SLS out. It stopped. It didn't go off after that, which is super odd. But before all of that, I saw with my own eyes an apparition. I'm gonna go ahead and set it down this hallway and if you want to walk over. What? I saw somebody. That was f***ing insane. Literally right in the doorway. This might not be a whole lot of evidence to throw together for these two rooms, but what we did catch so far was amazing. We decided to leave room two because things started to kind of just calm down. We started to hear what sounded like noises all throughout the hallways and over here. So now, we are going to be making our way to the theater to hopefully catch some more evidence. But before that, I just want to show you guys what had happened to us before we got down here. This is weird. Flashlight's not working. What's going on? Are you filming? I'm filming. Did you just run away from that? Did you just run away from that? What the f Let's leave the room, see what happens. Okay, we're gonna leave you be. Go ahead and touch that. So this is in between us moving down to the theater room. It just kept going off. We were looking for a ball so that we could sit at the top of the stairs. That kept going off, dude. And then soon, bro, dude, dude, quiet. Watch, dude, watch, 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 watch.
was really weird. Watch. I'm gonna go in here, it's not gonna do anything. See that, Wyatt? Mm -hmm. Someone's playing with us, man. I can feel it, like I can totally tell. Like the vibe in here. Uh-huh. I'm gonna say this real quick. We do a lot of these investigations all the time. This one in particular is just super odd. Room one, they wanted us to leave right away. Wyatt had gotten hurt, okay? Something happened to Wyatt. Whoever was in there told us to leave. We decided to come to room two. Things started happening, kind of. Mm -hmm. And through our device, we got they were scared. So look, what is going on? We haven't touched it. We haven't done anything. No, no it has not gone off at all since we you entered the room. I'm gonna reset it. Okay, that's a reset, let's go. Okay, I just wanna say before we leave, when we walk away, and if you touch that again, that will prove that you are actually in here doing that. Okay, we're leaving. And any spirits that are- No way. No way. Oh my God. Why wouldn't they do anything when we were in there? They're scared, it said scared. So you guys think it's the kid? Can you do that again? What? This is so odd. It is really weird. Should we just leave them to touch it? Yeah. Just let them go. Any spirits that are in here that do want to see us, and want to talk with us, we're going down to the theater, including these negative ones that people talk about. We're not scared of you, you're more than welcome. We'll be down there. Dude. That was a confirmation. That's never done that before. No. Just a quick touch, please. Literally the exact opposite of what you're saying. This investigation has turned into something totally different. And how long was that thing in the hallway? For a hot minute. Not yeah. doing shit. It's just sitting in the middle of the room on the coffee table. Okay. Touch it and then let it go. Please. We're trying to prove that you're here. I don't know, dude, that, that like never happens, bro, usually. That's the f***ing really It's scaring me because it makes me feel like something's trying to draw us, us in there. Us back in there, but we were just in there. Literally. We did everything we could. Okay, we're leaving. Why don't you follow us? Come on. So that device rarely ever goes off. I'm gonna say this. For it to just go, and then stop, yeah. really fast. Oh it did it! I swear on everything it did it. We can definitely use the audio of the other camera to get it. What are the odds? What are the odds? What is going on? Oh boy. Oh boy, this is it. Oh, jeez. What happened? Someone was right behind us. I swear on everything. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. If that was you. Step right in front of that, please. Were you right behind me? That's not me. That's not me. That's no not way. Me. That's going out the door. I, I told you. That's not us. Okay. Can you please walk away for a second? Thank you. What? Did you come from upstairs? Room number two? It just stopped. They just walked away from it. Oh, f a portal. Look Whoa. at this. Yeah. A vortex. Near. Near. I just noticed it when I pointed at it. Is there somebody here? I heard that. Is that walking above us? If there is somebody here, can you maybe give us a sign? I'm going to go ahead and set this on the ground. And if you could just kind of walk up to it, we're going to stand back. Somebody was walking behind River. He heard you. Oh! Thank you. Oh, did you just hear that? If anybody wants to come and speak with us, 
Just come into the theater. We want to know what's going on here. Things are weird. I've got this object here. What I'd like you to do is turn this light on. This light should be sensitive enough for you to turn it on and turn it off. A yes will be you turning it on, and then you'll turn it off, and then we'll go ahead and proceed to ask you another question. So I'm going to set it right here. So if you can, please walk up to that and turn it on. Dancing. Dancing. We're in the. This is where people would dance. We're in the theater, yeah. Is that what you're doing right now? Or is that what you see? Oh, dude! Thank you. Who's here with us right now? Whoa. Whoa. Hearing that makes me feel like someone is here with us. Yeah. That was scary. That was definitely someone dragging something. Nobody's touched the light. They gave us that one, hey, what's up? Don't be afraid. I know we keep telling you don't be afraid, but so far we haven't done anything wrong to you. So that should tell you something. Can you please try to trust us? It's on? Wow. Thank you. Now that we've established a little bit, whether you trust us or not, can we try something? We'd like to try and dig deeper. Help me. Oh! Holy shit. Oh, oh, oh. Earlier, guys, I think it said stuck here, or I'm trapped here, or something along those lines. It said stuck here. Stuck here. Oh! Did you just hear that? Yeah, somebody just sat on that chair. Thank you. Lights. Whoa. Lights. Dude. There. Light. Light. Whoa, dude. What the f is that guy? I don't know, dude. That's terrifying. Come out. Big. Big. That sounds like some big shit getting done. Yeah. What else makes that noise, guys? Something big. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that would do that by itself. Uh-uh. Oh my god, did you hear that? Unknown. Unknown. Big unknown. So that could be the scary thing. That people don't know about. Yeah. What I was trying to say when I was sitting down over there was that we would like to use our friend Wyatt here as a mouth for you. So what we're going to do is have him relax, use a device, and what we want you to do is to speak just to him. And you want him to tell us what you are saying. I think that's what they want. Then that's what we're gonna do. I think what we should do right now is do the Estes method. But before we do the Estes method, I think we should go red light. So, let's go red light. Okay guys, I can't see shit. I'm gonna be inside of this vortex or this portal, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, we're gonna see if anybody will talk to us. Beware. Oh! Is there somebody here right now with us? I keep hearing someone going, uh -huh. Maybe that's the evil spirit. Yeah. Is there somebody evil here? Who are you? We're just a couple of guys trying to have a conversation with anybody who still resides in this hotel. We hear stories that there are spirits here, people here. With that being said, can you please just give us some information? What is your name? Emma. 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 Are you the one from room number one? Door. Door. I am. I am! Door! I saw somebody right at the door! Oh shit! Why did you want us to leave your room? I'm napping. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So we were bothering you. We apologize. Shit. Mistake. Mistake! Mistake! It's okay. Can you maybe give us some information about this evil spirit that hurt Wyatt? Was it you? Or did somebody else hurt him? No. No. That was instant. Earlier, somebody had spoken into our device saying that they hide in the shadows. Someone just laughed for like 
three seconds straight. Whoa, that gave me the chills. Damn. I feel like you guys all know about this evil spirit. Why don't you want to tell us? It. What the f It. Maybe it's not a person. Maybe it's, it's a demon. demon. Your room. Which one? Number. Oh, what? Number what? Two. Oh, oh no, dude. That's. Oh my god. Shit. That's. What is in number two? Was somebody trying to get our attention to come back to number two for some reason? What is it? Unnatural. This is a demon. Dude, it has to be a demon. Dude, I just saw. What the f did I just see? Get out of here. Oh my f god. Wow. Oh, it stopped filming. Should I bust him out? Should I get him out of this? I don't know. I don't know. Why do you want us out? Why do you want us to leave? It's inside. Oh, dude, your light just turned know. off. How? I don't no, know what to do. I don't know what Guys, to do. I'm starting to freak the out. Your light was. It was full battery, battery, dude. I swear. Full I just it. Look, 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 look. Full battery. Hurry, hurry, dude. I don't know what to do. What is the battery at? Zero, zero. It's at zero. Someone just used all the power out of my. Pull him out. Yo. Dude, this is f We We gotta do something. My battery's dead. It like legit just died. My light battery just completely died. I just looked at it. It was fine. It had a few hours on it. Out of nowhere, after we just started talking about whoever, this demonic presence or whatever it is, it took all my energy. Everything's gone. When you heard whatever was over there, did you not hear me say, what the f did I just see? And then it turned out. Okay, I looked to my left and I saw like a f mist thing right in front of me. Oh my god. I swear on everything, I was about to f say it. But you started saying something. I said, shh, I, I told you to, to be quiet because somebody was walking in, bro. Dude, someone just. How is your light still on right now? I don't know, look, zero minutes. Ahead. Ahead! Dude. Look ahead. Oh my god, god bro. We gotta get out of this room. Bro, when it said hurry, there was like another male voice that came through that was like so deep that I couldn't understand what it was saying. And it said, wow. look, it said two things. And like, look at- Yeah, dude, your hand's yeah. shaking. Just hearing that, you know what I mean? Like my body was like, oh, that's not good. Guess what the device said before you said, hurry. It said, get out. It told Literally, us to get out. Get out. And then all this shit happened. I got one more idea. You're gonna have to trust me, but I'm gonna put this back on and you guys should ask them what we should do maybe. Okay. This is crazy. I can't do red light. That's fine. Drop your camera. Pick that one up. Whoa! What the f I just heard that. Did you? Dude, someone just was on me. Something was just on you? I swear on everything. Holy you okay? I legit felt someone wrapped around me. That was the weirdest feeling. I know it was someone straddled like around me. You heard that, right? I like, like, went like this. Apparition! Dude, I went like this. Listen, listen. I went like this, and I felt them let go. Dude, I'm terrified. I am, I am right there with you. Okay. Is... Dude. Are they on you? Are they on you? I think so. Dude, I keep hearing someone whispering in my ear. I'm not even you. Oh, bitch! Did you just hear that? Tunnel. Ryan, please. Yeah, yeah, come here. Come here. Get off of him. You're not allowed on me. Oh, f I just saw an orb. Dude, I'm trying not to freak out, man. Sit down. Sit right there. Why do you want us to leave? I'm trying to chuck this up to something else here. I don't. Why not? I'm angry. I'm angry! Dude, dude battery's dead. Battery's dead on us. Here I am. Here I am. Dude. That gave me chills. Here! Dude? You have no permission to harm us in any way. Dude, I'm getting terrified, man. I'm 
telling you, it sounded like someone was whispering in my ear, like telling me to do something. That was the weirdest experience ever. This whole night, man. Like we get into this place, there's no one here. I love these kinds of investigations, but I also feel like we're kind of in danger. What we should do is get out of here. We got the Estes method, got some information. Sometimes we don't get all the information that we want. We're here for hours, bro. We do what we can. Whatever it is here, it's f***ed up. Mm -hmm. In this room, for sure. And number one, I don't know. Like, Goodbye. Goodbye. No way. You're just saying maybe we should call it. Yeah. Dude, you can't make that up. No. You can't. The REM pod. Dude. In room two is not going off. That's probably what was saying whatever it was in my ear, bro. Why? When you were under, we said what room? Because we asked, where's the creature? Where's the monster? Where's the it? That's weird though. Why was it so calm in there? Dude, okay. right in that corner. Yeah. Dude, someone was just crawling up the wall. That's literally what that sounded like. I have the gnarliest chills up my back right now. Look at my arm. Dude, there's a demon here, bro. There's a demon here. We gotta go, dude. Did you hear that? Shh. Present yourself. We hear you crawling on this wall. Present yourself. Now. What the actual f is that? Somebody's crawling on the wall. Why? You cannot harm us at all. That sounded like someone starting right there, crawling up, and then going this way. Oh, we heard it. We heard it. Somebody just hits around the corner? That camera, dude. This X camera. They just shut it off? It oh, just no. shut off. Dude, we, we have no choice but to go. Dude, what are the f odds as soon as this evil shit starts happening, that one dies and that one dies? That's not a coincidence, brother. Do we have to run and go and turn off that other camera? Yes. We might have to right now. We gotta all go together. Hey, someone have a phone right now, too. Because if this light goes out, dude, we got nothing. Don't leave me behind. Nice, look at it's this. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Dude, someone got so annoyed by us, they killed everything. Somebody's here, and it's not good. Guys, what? Oh, <gasps> you think that's funny? They were laughing. They were laughing. You get a kick out of this, don't you? I just came back home. Yeah. This is real. Why it's never this on it. Oh, did you just hear that? <gasps> no. Got you. I got you. Did you hear that? Dude, we gotta go. Leave? Leave, leave? I'm a I f that, dude. It's not worth it. We legit just heard someone crawling up the wall. At what point do you not, like, just leave? All I know is we have not left an investigation like this in a long time. Time and we're about to leave because we're not safe. This it's crazy. Well, I'm a little more worried about Rev if he's talking about people talking in his ears and shit. Are you you're not hearing it anymore, right? Huh? Don't let them in. Ghost game. It's crazy. Go down in the comments, guys. Let us know what you would have done in this situation because hopefully if you were here with us, you guys would have made that right decision too. With that being said, if you guys did enjoy this episode, get this video to twenty thousand likes. And we'll see you next week. <laughs> Did you just rip? Did you just <laughs> fart? Mm -hmm. You dirty. You dirty. Mm. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs>